Today we're taking a look at the Ghost Electric Razor. This one here is a limited edition. Well, at least that's what it says so on the box. So I don't know if they're all gonna end up coming in this cool little coffin shaped box or not, but I kind of liked it. It added something to the unboxing process and made it memorable. Once you open up that coffin lid, laying inside the box is of course the razor right away. You see the handle of it as well as the head of the razor that has five blades. Now the razor does come in two parts. Put them together, it's super simple. All you're gonna have to do is line up the head of the razor, the one with the blades on it, to the handle of it. And it doesn't really matter which direction it goes, just kinda put them together and squeeze tight. Once you hear that snap, you will know that it is in place. Now the power button to turn on and off the ghost kind of surprised me because I was expecting it to be somewhere up on the top of the handle. However, it is on the bottom kind of like a little trigger. And on the back side of the handle, there is a battery meter indicator. Now going back to the coffin box, you can take out the insert that was holding the razor and you can remove that from the box. Once you do that, what you're gonna end up finding is a instruction manual, a power plug for the wall, and a USB type C cord to charge the Ghost Razor. The Razor runs on a lithium battery which has a two hour charge time with a run time of 75 minutes. Now you should definitely be able to get quite a few shaves in in that 75 minute time that you have with this. Now I can tell you from running it dead myself, it runs all the way up until it just can't run anymore and it dies fairly quickly. Now the blades on the head of the razor are all independent. At least four of them are. The center one just kind of moves with the whole entire head of the razor itself. Another feature of this razor is that it does have an IPX5 rating, which means that you can rinse it off under your sink, you can use it in the shower, and you're not gonna really need to worry about it getting ruined just by a little bit of water. Now that is water resistant, not waterproof, so just make sure that you're not submerging this for any extended amount of time. The entire housing of this electric razor is plastic, which is pretty standard now for most electric razors. There are a couple of ways to clean out the blades of this razor. One of them is just to rinse it under water from your sink. It should get a lot of that out of there. You can also use razor cleaning fluid and just dunk just the head in it and let it run for a little bit. And that should also remove most of the hair, if not all of it. And if you really, really need to, you can pop off the razor heads and clean it out individually like that. Now this razor is fairly light, however it is front heavy, so just keep that in mind when you go to pick it up if you have slippery hands or something. You really wanna make sure that you're picking it up probably by the front of the razor more so than like the back end. Now let's say that you're traveling and you're afraid that it's gonna accidentally get turned on a lot in your baggage or something and you don't want a dead battery when you get to your destination. Well, it's fairly simple to fix that because there is a electric lock on this. To get it to lock, you just simply press and hold the power button for three seconds. Once you see the lock light up and blink, it is now locked. Now if you try to hit the power button, it will just blink at you to let you know that it is locked. To unlock it, it's just the same deal. You just press and hold it for three seconds. Now from my experience using the Ghost Razor. For the most part, I use this razor mainly for my head as well as a few times for my face. I found that the handle of the Ghost Razor is actually fairly comfortable. I never had a position on my head or my face that I didn't think that the handle position was comfortable. It was always very easy to get whatever grip on it that I wanted to. And there are several different ways that you could hold this fairly easily to get some of those harder spots. Now how close does this get to the skin? Well, 
I've been using a regular razor for the past 15 or so years and this does not get as close as that. Obviously no real electric razor does. However, I think this gets it close enough that I didn't feel like I needed to take a razor to it right away. Like it didn't bother me. And I think for a lot of people, this might be as close as you are comfortable with getting to your skin on your head. Especially if you have a lot of bumps or blemishes on your head, this is a good option for that. And I actually did like using it around some of mine on my head just because I didn't need to worry about cutting it with a razor blade. Since this did leave probably a little less than a full day's growth of hair, I use this quite a bit as a maintainer. Meaning between my regular shaves I would use this just for the fact of I was going to be going out or my hair was a little longer than I normally like it and it was annoying me that day. So I would just pick this up and use it real quick to trim it down. Now I went a few days without shaving with anything just to see what this could tackle. And I would have to say that about two days growth is probably the max that I would want to push this razor to cut down because I found that at three days it just took way too long to shave my head with it. Now it would definitely get it but I found myself having to go over places three, four, maybe even five different times for it to get all the way down to where it could. So I would suggest using this either every day or every other day if you're not shaving with a razor blade. Now because it is an electric razor, even with the five blades, I found out that it is not quite as fast as any of the regular razors that I've reviewed in the past for my head. However, I can definitely see how somebody would like using this over something like that. Now that's my experience using it for the head. As far as my face goes, well I have to say that my experience wasn't quite as good. For some reason the ghost liked to pull at a few hairs when I was shaving and it wouldn't be just longer ones like by my goatee or my mustache. It was oftentimes littler ones that were like way back here and along my neckline here. And so that part definitely was not quite as relaxing for me as the head shave was. I did find that I could reduce the pulling of hairs when shaving my face though with using it with a wet face or even using something like a shave soap or shave oil to help the blades glide on my skin. I think that this razor could be a little quieter. It seems to be a little bit on the loud side to me. Now for two complaints that really don't really matter as far as how this is used, but that I find to be something that just probably could have been changed a little bit. The first thing is that this top is really shiny here and it gets really dirty and shows your fingerprints and stuff very easily. I kind of wish that they just went with the same plastic that's down here. It's more of a matte plastic up here. And the white doesn't show your fingerprints or anything, so that didn't bother me. Now one thing that I thought as soon as I opened this up is that the ghost logo on the handle was going to end up glowing in the dark because it is that glow in the dark green. However it doesn't. Neither does the box. So I don't know why they went with green because personally I think on this razor I think that a gray, a dark gray, or even a lighter gray would match it a little bit better and still give that ghost a vibe without thinking that it's going to glow in the dark. Like I said though, both of those are both things that don't really affect the usage of the razor. And for this being my first electric razor using it on my head here, I have to say it was kind of relaxing because it's almost like you get a little mini massage using this versus a regular razor. As a head shaver, I think this is a fairly decent option. As a face shaver though, I would say just to use it on vacations when you only want to bring this with you. Now do I think this is worth your money? Well, I think that if you're looking for a decent head shaver and 
you are liking what you have seen in this review, I think that it probably is worth the $80. However, just keep in mind that when these blades go dull, which they eventually will, that you are going to be looking at another $20 for each head that you get. If you like this review and you want to see my other reviews of head shaving items, check out this playlist up here. Down below that's going to be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.